Morning, Steve here in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Overnight, grain prices are a little bit lower. Last couple of days, we've seen a slowdown in volume as the market awaits uh, news on U.S. weather conditions and how it affects crops and anything that may affect trade issues. Yesterday, there was an article reporting that the uh, president um, added some concern about global trade by sticking to threats to impose swooping tariffs on automobile imports as a means to extract concessions by trading partners. So you've got metals down, you've got energy down, you've got most commodities down, and that's weighing on the grain prices. and could also even weigh on the um, stock market. And we've seen the dollar move to close to higher levels. And uh, so all these things are, are coming out of that particular comment. Weekly export sales today expected to be <clears throat> somewhere between 300 and 600,000 tons of uh, corn, maybe the same in beans, and uh, 100 to 500,000 tons of wheat. Again, the beans, <clears throat> China will not be a buyer, but we'll see how many non-China buyers of Brazil beans come in and buy our beans because we're the cheapest. Also in the corn, U.S. corn prices are the cheapest feed grains in the world. We'll see if that picks up any business. And in the wheat, we're not really seeing yet any impact on dry weather in Europe and some lower crop production in Russia. We really need to see those prices come down, uh, or at least those prices go up, and our prices be more competitive to increase our export demand. Um, there was a wire story out that some people are using a, a U.S. corn yield as high as 180 because of the crop ratings. Uh, some people doubt that because of the quickness of the maturity of the crop and just walking in the fields, they don't see the ear sizes as big <clears throat> as they were last year. So that'll be a pretty big debate because uh, 180 yield would make things, uh, supplies more and weigh on corn prices. Fun yesterday, small buyers of beans, oil, corn, they sold meal and wheat. Continue to be short 60,000 beans, short 90,000 oil, 100,000 corn and long uh, a little bit of wheat. So um, we're just kind of waiting for news on U.S. weather and crop conditions, anything that new on the trade issues, and getting ready for the August crop report. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day.